Hey guys, uh, thank you for being here again. So what I'm going to show you guys today is um, this technique called uh, prefix sum. What, what this technique is, is all about is that uh, we go through, through an array and we start to, to have uh, the sum of, of the array on the position. So for instance, the prefix sum for, for this array would be uh, in, the, in the first item would be two. The second item would be six, which is four plus the item before uh, in, the, in this position. It's going to be six plus the sum of the two previous um, items and so forth. So in, a, in this case, it would be eight plus 10 plus 12. So it would be 20. Um, this is a, a pretty useful technique in, in when you are working with array. So it allows you to do some quick um, arithmetic operations on, on the ranges on the array. And let's, let's just start. I created this, this JavaScript file that I included into this HTML, which I also open here. If we refresh the page, we will see um, the two the two methods that I that I have defined here, or I haven't defined yet, right? And what I what I'm going to do in the first method is just going to create this prefix sum array using um, the the normal way or the the most old old way to to do this, which is just going through all the different positions in the array uh, having uh, the index and, and grabbing the, the value from that. And what I'm going to try to do on the next uh, prefix new school method, it's um, to use the arise functions so, such as reduce. I mean, re reduce. And this is not necessarily better performance, but is definitely um, the code is, is way shorter. So let's start um, for up here. I will um, I will just get the, the size of the array. And then I will create the result array. It's the size of the array. And then I will have some number that will give me the current prefix value, which before we start is zero. And now I'm going to traverse through the array based on the index. Uh, oh yeah, but let's in, instead of using this prep, we can just use just the, pre, the previous value in zero, which is going to be all right in the position in the first position. Okay, so right uh, we're here. Now, what we need to do? Oh yeah, sorry. We need to move this here. What we need to do is to set the the result array or the the result array is the prefix sum array and we just need to graph the previous the, the previous value the, that we have there plus the current value in the array right so once we have that we can just return the the result and let's see if that works. So let's compare this, this array, um, which is so we have two, that's right. This is the first position is two and the second position is six because it's the current number four plus the previous. It's good. Also six plus two plus four. Also we have eight plus six plus four plus 
2, which is also good. And 10 plus the previous position, 30. And 12 plus the previous position. And yep, so this checks out. Now what we're going to do is, this is a little bit more tricky because we are going to use reduce uh, for, for this. And it's, we are going to, <laughs> to manip manipulate re the reduce method in a way that we, um, every, that every time that we, that we execute this function, we return the whole array or the new, the new array, right? So we're going to have this um right and the index so then we're going to extend the previous array plus adding the the current value in the current position um, plus the um, the previous, I mean, pre prep here is going to be the, the array that we're going to return or the prefix some array. And we need to send the index as one, which is the previous position. But if it doesn't exist, we we'll just add zero to that. Cool. And let's just send as initial value, the empty array. And let's see if that works. Uh, yeah, right, so it works. Um, let me show you or explain you guys a little bit this reduce magic. Um, so the first, the first argument that this function uh, receives is, is the, the, you could call it the carry on or the previous value which initially we are sending an, an empty array, right? And what we are returning every time that we execute this against the, any value in the array is that we create a new array, right? And we spread all the values from the previous state or the a previous item in the, in the array. And then we add in the last position of, of the array, the current value plus the, the last value that we calculated, right? And here we are just doing this uh, or zero in case that we are in the first position. <laughs> so that's, um, that's all. So now if you want to find out what's the, the, the sum of the, of a range in the in the array, you only need to to calculate, right? Like you are in the last position, and then you subtract the 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 the, the value that it's in the in the prefix sum array, right? And and that will give you uh, the the right. Um, array sum uh, within that range without the need to calculate everything and yep uh, that's it this is this was a short video i hope you enjoy it bye